hello guys in this video we are going to create this uh, this small app uh, which basically uh, shows a, a joke uh, in in this card and this joke is uh, fetched from uh, fetched using this api so we'll be using this api and we'll be calling random jokes and uh, displaying it here so it's just a simple simple project the main aim of doing this is basically using uh, the fetch API uh, to get uh, to call APIs and get their response. So uh, without further ado, let's get in, into the video. Uh, we'll be using the template that we have created previously, and we'll be using that, uh, and we'll be using Live Server uh, to, to show the change the changes in the browser immediately. The link for this template and how to make this template is uh, in the cards. You can check that out and so let's get started uh, first let's uh, change the change the title and we'll just remove the h1 tag so basically we want a container to hold the joke so in this container uh, we want uh, an h1 tag that has uh, the title for the for the container and we'll give it as uh, don't laugh challenge and uh, below that we'll add a paragraph tag uh, which has an id of joke and which has a class of joke and in here uh, there will be uh, the joke that will be dynamically fetching and that will be going here then uh, we want a button to get uh, get joke so we'll do a button uh, with the ID of joke button and we'll give it a class of btn and we'll give the text as get another joke so on saving that you can see elements have been found in the DOM and now let's uh, style it a bit so we'll keep the robot of font and we'll just give it a background color We'll give it a value of 686 DE0 and we'll save that. And in the container, we'll set the background color as white. So uh, we have that card effect. Okay, um, in, the, in the card, uh, we want a padding. So we'll give a padding of uh, 50 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel left and right. Then uh, we'll add a border radius. And we'll give it a value of 10 pixel. Uh, we'll just align everything uh, to the center. and uh, we'll give it a width of 800 pixel and we'll give a max width of 100 percentage uh, but there is no gap here so we'll <coughs> give a back padding here of 20 pixel We'll just put a margin as zero just in case. Save that. Okay, um, now let's style the H1 tag here. So we will go container H1 and we'll set the font size to 16 pixel. And we'll set the color to gray. And we'll set the letter spacing to two pixel. Okay, um, so that's all we need there. So uh, for for the button, uh, we'll set uh, a background color.
so it was to the purple color uh, there so we'll set uh, set that so we will get that purple now uh, we do not want that border we will remove that uh, we want to add a padding so we will add a padding of 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel left and right we want to add a border radius same as that of the container and we also want the font family to inherit also we want the font to have a white color then we do not want that outline so we we'll set that on focus outline none no it's not there we also set the uh, font size to 20 pixel it's too big um, we'll reduce that to 16 pixel okay uh, that's better now let's uh, focus on on the joke class so we want to increase the font size We'll set it as 26 pixel. We'll also set the letter spacing. Or we'll set it as uh, 1 pixel. Uh, we'll set the line height as 40 pixel. Also, uh, we want to set a margin for top and bottom. So we'll do margin. 50 pixel top and bottom and we'll set the left and right as auto uh, we also want to give it a property of max width and we'll give the max width as 600 pixel so i think that's all uh, we need for the styling part uh, now let's go into the script.js and uh, call the api to get the joke dynamically into here so to do that first uh, let's get the elements that is the button and uh, the uh, paragraph so joke is equal to document dot get element by id and we'll get the id of joke which is the paragraph and we'll copy paste here and we'll get the button as well and now we have the uh, button as well so now let's write a function of get jokes so this function uh, will basically call the api and uh, get the uh, get the jokes from the api so we'll write that function now uh, we are going to use this fetch api which is in the browser itself uh, to call uh, this api which is the I can has that joke uh, dot com and this API will uh, give a response of uh, this JSON and from this JSON data we'll get this joke and uh, we'll show it here so that's what the idea is and the way we can uh, get there are different ways to get uh, this uh, call this API uh, one of them is using fetch there are other uh, other library external libraries as well that can call it for for this example we are using uh, fetch api so let's use the fetch api to get the response from the api so we'll use fetch and we'll call this endpoint and we'll see what happens when we call this endpoint and the way uh, there are uh, two ways we can 
use fetch api one is using the async await format and the other is using uh, dot then so we'll be sh uh, showing both of them now how we can uh, use dot then and also async await so when using dot then uh, we'll get the response and first we'll convert the response into a json and uh, again we have to use uh, dot then and then we'll get the data from the uh, api so we'll just console the response here so uh, let me just explain it uh, once more what we have done here so uh, first we are using this fetch method that is in the browser to uh, call this endpoint and when the response comes we are converting that to response.json and uh, then we are we are again getting the response from this uh, response.json and uh, logging it into the console so now uh, let's just open it here and when we save this and if we take console you can see that there is a uh, error so unexpected token uh, in json at position 0 so the issue here is uh, if you can see uh, when we uh, call this api we need to add App, uh, application json in the header so if we do not do that we will get an html response as the default response so since we are not using any headers here what we are getting is an html and that is why when we are doing this rest.json uh, we are getting an error that uh, unexpected token so to uh, to get uh, the json what we'll do is we'll add a config so to do that we'll do const config and we'll create a json here and here we'll add headers and in here we'll add a we'll add a key called accept and the accept has the value of application slash this so that's what we uh, get from the document and this is different for uh, different applications for uh, for different api for this api we want to add accept header and we have to pass this value as the header value so now uh, to pass this header into the fetch api we will add a second parameter into the fetch and we will add config so now when we save that and we we'll, we take uh, conf, uh, console we get this response so it is basically uh, the joke it is basically the same response that uh, that is given in the in the site so if you can see here uh, the response is id with joke and status and that's what and that's what we are getting here also we, we are getting an id with joke and a status so uh, now since we have the joke here we can uh, and uh, enter that joke so to do that, uh, we'll first remove this console and we'll open code snippet and we'll take the joke. So basically we have the joke here, uh, which is uh, the paragraph tag with the ID of joke and we'll uh, give, the, uh, give it an inner text of data dot joke. So now when we save that, you can see there's a, a joke that comes here. <laughs> these jokes doesn't make any sense but it's just an api call now uh, we, we want to uh, get the joke another joke when we click this button so the easiest way to do that is uh, get the joke button so we have added that uh, and let's add an event listener and the event we are listening to is click and when click happens we want to call the function get jokes save that so now when we click uh, get another joke a new joke appears in the uh, in the joke guide 
so this is one way to do, uh, call the fetch api that is another way uh, uh, using a, a single way so the problem with uh, using this format format of uh, fetch api is that uh, there is this dot then and dot then when you are using uh, nested calls or something this can get uh, real, uh, really messy so uh, that is when we use the other function uh, other method which is using async away so to do that we'll just copy this function and we just comment it out as well and we'll paste it above it and what we'll change here is uh, we'll just delete this one and we'll store this response in a variable here so we are using the same fetch and we are storing the response into this variable when we are using this this step here the problem happens where, uh, is that uh, when the function run uh, it will not wait for uh, this code to execute instead it will just uh, complete the uh, snippet so in order to wait here uh, we'll add a, a keyword await so what this does is it will wait for this uh, this function to uh, finish executing and when, whenever you we use uh, await we want to tell the uh, compiler that uh, this function is, a, is an asynchronous function and uh, we have to wait so to do that we uh, in the beginning of the function we will add a value of uh, we will add a keyword of async uh, and now uh, the function uh, is an asynchronous function and it will await uh, the response and store the response in this variable so uh, now uh, just like the other uh, other we will add a const of data and we'll await uh, res dot json so just like uh, the previous time uh, we want to uh, convert the response into json and we will get that data over here so if we console uh, this data we will get the same uh, as the as the previous time so uh, now we want to uh, get get this data into the uh, into the uh, joke paragraphs so uh, we'll just do the same thing joke to the text is equal to data to joke so now uh, it is uh, working the same as uh, it used to so every time when we refresh it uh, it will bring a, a new joke and if we click here uh, it will bring the uh, new joke so it's working just as pre previous previously but uh, it reduces the complexity of dot then so this is the difference between uh, async await and uh, and dot then um, based on how much uh, i understand there could be more uh, differences uh, that i do not know so if you if you feel there is uh, more difference do let me know uh, in the comment section and that's all for this video uh, hope you liked it and if you did do let me know uh, um, if you learned something new and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one